Hospitals continue to fill up with COVID patients in Cochise County, putting a strain on the rural county's limited resources. Some hospitals are now receiving federal assistance after county supervisors turned down assistance offered from the state. Chorus Nylander looks into why that help was rejected and what is happening now in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken a heavy toll on Cochise County. The county's own health director warned the Board of Supervisors of several weak points the county faces to handle long-term health emergencies. This grant money was meant to help with that, but with a majority vote, turned it down. Cochise County hospitals are dealing with low staff and an influx of patients with COVID-19 and limited resources, leaving people like James Evans worried for their friends and family. A lot of people are going around like nothing has happened, like COVID doesn't exist anymore, but it's still not over. The pandemic has been very noticeable around here and people from our church and uh, friends that I know have been quarantined and had COVID and have suffered a lot from COVID. Oh, it really is a crisis for us. Devastating on our communities, on our patients and their families and our caregivers as well. The state was offering a $1.9 million grant to help with several of the issues the county is dealing with, like increased access to free testing, improved contact tracing, hiring a finance director for COVID resources, and to increase mobile community health services, which health director Alicia Thompson said could help with all future health emergencies. But during their January 4th meeting in a two-to-one vote, county supervisors rejected the money, Tom Crosby and Peggy Judd voting against it, and English for it. During the meeting, Judd expressed concerns with contact tracing and if it was really required by law as stated by Dr. Thompson. You have a problem with contact tracing? I don't necessarily have a problem with contact tracing, but I don't know that we should spend money on it when it's not, maybe it isn't even a law. You know, it may not be a law. I'd like to find out. Crosby questioned the COVID-19 vaccines. This epidemic is not like prior epidemics, and this vaccination is not like prior vaccinations, and particularly because of the adverse reactions, including deaths. But local medical leaders, like the administrators at Canyon Vista Medical Center, disagree. The vaccine does work. Uh, the vaccine is safe. It's, it's uh, efficacious. Patients who are getting admitted are, are certainly unvaccinated people, typically, by far and large. They wouldn't give their thoughts on the county supervisor's decision, but last week requested and received federal assistance, Health and Human Services sending a 14-person team to help. And we knew that if we were able to get federal resources, we could expand the care we provide. Julia Strange, CEO of Benson Hospital, didn't hold back. I was very concerned um, to see that we missed out. We missed that opportunity. We could have used more testing centers and more vaccination um, sites so that people have access to those important services. They're just leaving everyone on their own. Kathy Richmond of Sierra Vista was furious about the rejected relief. It's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. We requested an interview with each of the county supervisors and the county's health director. All refused. Judd sent us a statement defending her position, saying she didn't support the grant because she says it didn't cover concrete medical services. Crosby sent us the name of another local journalist to reach out to for his comment. We have all of their statements posted over on our website, kvoa.com. Investigating for you, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.